Hey guys, Captain Gabtron here, and welcome back to the second episode of Let's Play Sly Cooper. And we're gonna get started right off here. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, guys. Tell you what, this is going to be fun. I'm excited about this. Okay, and this being the first episode, Bentley's going to do a lot of talking. So, and we're also going to try to get as many coins as we can because getting those lucky charms is important. Hey, Sly! I just spotted something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure, and like that ladder there? That is correct, but do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, 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 relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. <laughs> this is a pretty funny game, to say the least. Uh, some we're going to be getting is these bottles. Very interesting. The message you just found appears to be some sort of clue. I'll decipher here in the van. In the meantime, see if you can find any more clues. The more I have, the easier it'll be to crack the code. Yeah, so we'll be collecting those bottles pretty often. Well, pretty much through the whole game. And those bottles will open safes, which open extra moves and pretty much all the moves in this game you use by hitting the circle button. Yeah, I just tapped R1 there's so the view of the camera. I really didn't mean to hit that. There's another bottle here and no oh, come on. Yeah I'm getting used to these controllers so I didn't practice at all. The only practice I did was when I started this let's play before, you know, back when I think it was in June when I did this or attempted this. Did I? Yeah, I went that way. So we're going to go this way, and there's two bottles up here, so there's really no reason to go up the other way, up the ladder over there. Let's look. Okay, if you were here... Yeah, there's coins down there. Uh, you know what? Let's go get the... Yeah. Let's go get those coins. Ooh, you know what? I can't see where I'm going down here. Let's just hope I don't land on... Subjected to acute combustion. You done whining? Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one, and I can checkpoint your progress. Nice. Okay, um, were there coins over here? Yeah, there were. I forget easily what I'm doing. ADD and whatnot. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, and we're gonna go through this uh, star throwing ninja here, and uh, there's two more bottles here, so. Anywho, how's everybody doing this fine, lovely night day? It's actually nighttime. I just got off work a little while ago. Hope y'all are doing good. According to my amphibio positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know, 
That blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. But rain or shine, I'm going to steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. It's on like Donkey Kong, man. All right. Yeah, that's what I like about these bad guys here. It's also one hit kills for them as it is for you, you know. How do I move the camera? L3. No, R3. Move the camera. Okay, so. Yeah, um. I'm, I'm guessing we should be able to knock the, this uh, Let's Play out in about 20 episodes or so. Since I know the game so well before the second game came out, I played this on a regular basis. Jumping at the circle button to grab onto hook. Jumping at the circle button. Jumping at the circle button. Ah, oh, I missed. Remember, you can grab onto a hook okay. by jumping near it and pressing the circle button. <laughs> we know, Bentley. We know. All right. Yeah. Since I know this game pretty well, I mean, I don't remember where all the clues are or anything. You know, the, all the bottles. So it is gonna take. You know, a while I can't jump over that. It's going to take a while to find some of those, and there might be some times where I have to, you know, stop capturing and go look, and I'll just meet back with y'all when I find it. Ooh, uh, they got me. Okay, uh, got the ninja. Well, it's actually a beaver. I don't know why I call him a ninja. Okay, we've got 16 out of the 20 clues. Can I kind of... No, you can't open the vault without finding the rest of the clues. I could probably guess it. It's a three-digit combination lock. There's only a thousand different options that could be, you know. I mean, you know, that, well, that's what it is. For, I think it's a thousand for a three-digit combination lock. I know a four-digit combination lock holds uh, 10,000 different combination possibilities. Which is actually a really big number, 10,000 different possibilities of, out of a four-digit combination lock. It's really impressive. It actually blew my mind. I thought there was like 400 different combinations. But there are... Well, think about it. If you do 9999, it's a thousand... Yeah, it's zero, 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 zero. Oh, yeah, it is. It's, you know, a thousand plus combinations. Okay, well, we found all the clues. Let's get back down. Ooh, I'm glad I didn't fall off there. I almost did. Let's open the vault here. Okay, Bentley, what's the code? Clues have led me to believe that the code for this vault is 792. 792. Let's see what we get. What's the surprise that lies inside? Sly, you found a page from the Thievius Raccoonus. Yay! Okay, and of course he puts his little icon there, token. Okay, so that's what that does. Wacha! Yeah, and these little bottle clue thingies you find, they really come in handy. And there's the key. Oh, excuse me. So yeah, I'm, I just got off work a little while ago, and I'm gonna... I'll be off the next two days, so I'm going to really see what I can get done over the weekend here. Because it'd be good to go ahead and get this done so we can move on to the second game, you know? I'm not saying I'm not going to go 100% on it, because I'm still going to do everything. It's just going to do it as quickly as possible. That blimp looks like the most secured location on this boat. If Raleigh's really as smart as his police file suggests, then that's where I'll find him. Wonderful idea, but your plan is flawed. Why? Because it's impossible to get near him. To access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high voltage power tube. To do that without getting electrocuted, you'd have to destroy that power generator. And to do that, you need two more of Raleigh's treasure keys, which are heavily guarded. Interesting. 
So when are you gonna get to the impossible part? Fine! But I warned you! I've marked the areas you need to hit with holographic markers. Follow them to your objectives. Thanks. Don't mention it. It's your funeral. <laughs> Crazy belly. <laughs> so smart. Do do do. Okay. Oh look, there's a lucky charm. Wow, you found a lucky charm. That'll protect you when you take any damage. Okay, guys. I was gonna stop up there, but I forgot I was gonna do that. Oh, there's someone. Oh, that's Raleigh talking. We're not gonna listen to what he says, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stop here. Oops, hit the wrong button. I'm gonna go ahead and stop here because I'm pushing 11 minutes here, so I will let y'all go, and I will see y'all in the next episode. Okay? Alrighty, bye guys.